it's pretty scary, you know, being told that this could be terminal. It's a scary thing. But for me to say that with absolute confidence, with joy and a peace, I think it's an amazing thing. My husband and I haven't really been well off. Well, neither of us have been well off. Um, and so building our home here on Earth, it, it did stress us out at the beginning of our marriage. We have to buy a house. We need a big TV. We have to get a nice car. We need to go on these holidays because everyone's going on these holidays. We haven't been to Disneyland. Half the people in her class have been to Disneyland. And, and those things were really stressing us. Those things don't matter at all. Not at all, especially uh, when you get to a point where you're thinking that you could die and you think what is actually really important. The house isn't really important, the holidays, the cars. The... What is most important is that I tell my children every day that I love them, but most of all that God sent his only son, Jesus, to die for them and that they grow up knowing with no uncertainty that Christ is their saviour um, and that their home is in heaven and that they live here until they go home. So I was originally found with a colon cancer. Then with more tests, they discovered I also have five lesions in my liver. One of those lesions is very large and it's on one of the main arteries to the heart. And I also have um, lots of smaller lesions and cancers growing throughout my whole peritoneum area. I guess like mould you see growing on your wall, like little spots, spores, um, that's what it's like in there. So God has a plan. And I know that. And I know in the Bible, he promises so often that he will never leave us, that he knows every little thing that's going on in our bodies. There are many people going through many different things, um, painful life experiences right through to um, medical. And God's love covers every situation. So that's, I really hope that it can be an encouragement um, for someone to, to get their Bible open and read God's promises and, and know that um, He's with you, no matter what. Yeah. It's just reminding me God is with me, God is for me, He's not against me, yeah, He's working His kingdom in me. Um, and I wonder, what is He working? What is he doing? Uh, and that's exciting too. Um, I've got a friend and she, she brings things over and, and I tell her about Christ. And, and the relationship, that knowing God is a relationship, it's not about ticking boxes, it's not about um, being a good person and, and going to church. And, I mean, those things are great, but all they have to do is have a relationship with Christ. And in hospital, talking to the nurses about how, how God is blessing us. God is so good, He's so good, as I said, all the time, even in, even in times where you think, oh, I really would prefer God there, kind of get rid of this cancer thing and let me go back to work and sort of make things back to normal. Um, and God's just saying, not yet, not yet, not something, something still to come. My hope lies completely in Christ. Like there is no other hope. Um, God is in control of all things. He has already written the story. He has predestined us to be where we are at this time. And there is a reason for everything. Um, what the reason is for me to have three different types of cancers and, and all these things going on, I, I can't see currently. But that really doesn't matter because I'm not God. He knows me so well. And he loves me so much and I know that I have a home in heaven. I know that he's prepared this home. Um, he's been preparing this home. You know, when he was, when he was going back to heaven, he said, oh, I'm preparing a home for you.
I'll claim that. I'll stand there and go, you said you have a home for me. I'll say that and I know that he does.